This week, Cobalt takes a serious shot at the King of Impacts, while our Aussie friends choose the best track saw of 2021. TVB looks for the best mid-torque impact, and Ryobi shocks everyone involved. This is your Power Tool Week in Review. This episode is brought to you by Ego, power beyond belief. And Spider, pro-powered tools. Welcome back, Power Tool fans. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah. And our first stop is over at the Torque Test Channel to find out if the current king of impacts is about to be dethroned. This is the Cobalt XCR 24-volt quarter-inch variable speed brushless cordless impact driver. Until now, this model had yet to be featured on the TTC, but if you ask their commenters, this boy should be ranked number one on their impact driver leaderboard. So this week, the trio set out to test if this not-so-little impact could be crowned king over the current Flex champion. The Flex claims 2,500 inch-pounds of torque and is currently sitting at the number one spot. Milwaukee's Gen 3 claims 2,000 inch-pounds of torque, bringing it in at number two. But this Cobalt is claiming a bold 2,400 inch-pounds for a lot less money. But can you believe those numbers? And does Cobalt take the throne from its bigger manufacturing brother? I'll tell you what, Cobalt, if you take a shot at the king, you better not miss. Head over to TTC to find out. Richard from Finnish Carpentry TV got his hands on the all-new 15-gauge and 16-gauge Finnish nailers from Milwaukee. Right out of the box, his first impressions of the nailers were very good. He immediately compared them to his Milwaukee framing nailer, suggesting it feels like its little brother. After driving several nails through ash and then again through some thinner pine, he seems pretty smitten with the newest additions to his cordless power tool team. Yeah, it, it's just, it's like a dream. There are a lot of features that he likes about the nailers, but one in particular seems to stand out. It's cordless. The very thought of leaving his compressor and hoses at home has Richard pretty excited. For the first time, a truly cordless job site is within his reach. To see the full review, head over to Finnish Carpentry TV. Dave from Mancaver Tools launched a new format for his testing this week, adding duration in addition to his normal head-to-head -head format. To measure this, he drove lag bolts of all sorts of lengths and diameters into, you guessed it, a giant tree cookie. The first contestant in this new test is the Ryobi OnePlus HP 18-volt half-inch impact wrench. He gathered every lag bolt he could find, loaded up a fully charged 6 amp hour battery, and got to work. After driving 12 lags deep into the stump, he let the impact take a quick break before pulling each one back out. He continued this process until the battery finally gave up. This is of course the first of many similar tests to come, so over time he'll be able to chart out the differences between brands and their many batteries. To see how long the Ryobi lasted, you can watch the results at Mancaver Tools. The leaves have officially hit the ground, and the best way to get rid of them is to blow them away. But with things like CFM, MPH, nozzles, and turbo buttons, how do you know which one to get? Well, Jim from Philly Fix decided to test a series of blowers himself, and when he was done, he sent them over to TTC to find out if the marketing matches the might. Jim fortunately found himself in a pile of leaves this week and set up a clever test in his own backyard to decide which blower did the best job. In the end, he personally chose the loudest one, which makes sense if you've ever heard him ramble on about D-handles, but the testing wasn't done. Jim shipped all five models out to Torque Test Channel, where they bought a pitot tube to test each one, which is the same technology used by airplane and race car engineers. Their goal, typical of TTC, was to get accurate performance numbers and then compare them to the marketing hype on the boxes. You quickly realize who's being honest and who's being optimistic for profit. The findings are really enlightening. Now I know what you're thinking. Rob, I already blew all my leaves. Yeah, me too. But here's the deal. Right now, no one's buying blowers, which means it's the perfect time to get a crazy deal on one. Or you can wait until next fall and pay full price, assuming you can even find one. I'd shop now. For the full review, visit Philly Fixed and Torque Test Channel. Tim Johnson got his hands on a new DeWalt DCF921 atomic impact wrench a few weeks ago, and the first question that seemed to flood his comments was how does it compare to its Milwaukee competitor? Good news! He heard you guys and decided to find out. Tim ran through the specs and features for both and then put them to the test to see what they could do. There are pros and cons to each, but one thing is true for both. However, we're very surprised at the amount of power that these little impacts are putting out. They have an absurd amount of power considering how compact they are. So, which one is best? That totally depends on you and your situation. If you already bleed red, go Milwaukee. If yellow is the platform filling your truck or shop, buy DeWalt. From Tim's review, it sounds like you can't go wrong with either one meaning neither is worth changing battery platforms for. But yes, it also sounds like he's refusing to declare a winner, which we hate around here. So if you want to go yell at him in the comments, head over to Shop to Reviews and tell him I sent you.
The guy behind Tools and Stuff channel seemed to get bored covering Makita tools that I can't have here in the States, so instead set out to determine which recip saw is the most powerful of 2021. The contenders included DeWalt Flexvolt Advantage, Hikoki 36 volt, Makita 36 volt, and Milwaukee Super Sawzall. To determine which was the most powerful, he beat the ever living crap out of them, of course. He runs them all through a variety of tests, cutting hebel blocks, nail embedding frying timber, am I saying that right, mate? And slicing through some steel tubing. Before he finished testing, he started to favor the Hikoki even before using the oscillating features. Speaking of, only two of these saws actually have an oscillating feature. To test that, he chose a pressure-treated 4x4. To find out if the Hikoki remained his favorite through the final testing, head over to Tools and Stuff. My Aussies are back, and this time Mike and Dwayne got their Aussie hands on five fantastic track saws to decide which one is best. They included examples from Metabo, DeWalt, Bosch, Makita, and of course, Festool. Oddly, they couldn't find a Milwaukee track saw in Australia either. All five of them feature brushless variable speed motors, plunge cut design, and of course, glide on a perfectly straight track. They tested each one for power, cut quality, and user experience. But keep in mind, the users are Mike and Dwayne, who naturally use all of their tools upside down on the other side of the planet. After a rigorous round of testing, two tools tied for first place, which would normally make my blood boil, but the two that took the top position, well, they both have ridiculous track records. Nice. Thank you. So it's reasonable to see them share that top spot. But of course, you know better than they do. So be sure to head over and share your wisdom and maybe learn a thing or two at Oz Tool Talk. Rob Robillard and his merry men are back again. This time they're testing the best mid-torque impact wrenches they could find. That included Craftsman, Ryobi, Rigid, Milwaukee, Makita, DeWalt, Metabo, and Porter Cable. And of course, because this is Toolbox Buzz, they dug deep into each one, testing power, speed, ergonomics, features, noise, price, and even a torture test that that involved driving five half inch by eight inch lags into a stack of Douglas burrs. That frankly made me tired just watching. As usual, Rob's team went way above and beyond in their testing, resulting in a 25 minute video and a huge detailed article that's so big, Sarah is still reading it a day later. What? Nothing. So if you're in the market for a mid-torque impact wrench, the Toolbox Buzz head-to-head -head is a must-watch. If you haven't been watching our channel this week, you've been missing out on our seven days of giveaways. Yep, we just launched day four earlier today, and we still have three more yet to come next week. We've got prizes from Ego, Skill, and Flex, and to enter, you just have to answer a question in the comments. Now, our final day of giveaways will include six top Flex tools, and you can get an extra entry simply by commenting on the other six days. So be sure you don't miss one. We'll link to the playlist below. So what's this I hear about you hitting your head on a refrigerator? I don't know what you're talking about. I drove you to the ER. Oh, that. Yeah. All right. So yeah, early this week, I hit my head pretty hard. Uh, but all my words are working, so we're good. You don't want to tell us how you hit your head so hard on a refrigerator that I had to drive you to the ER? No, I do not. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. So I want to thank Ego and Spider for sponsoring this episode. We couldn't do it without you. If you can, do something kind for someone else this weekend, and we'll see you next week.